In recent weeks, Rammstein have been embroiled in controversy after multiple women have made misconduct allegations towards vocalist Till Lindemann. Since then, German police have said they're conducting a criminal investigation into the 60-year-old singer, with limited additional details available. They say the investigation pertains to sexual offenses and the distribution of narcotics. Lindemann's legal team has denied any wrongdoing on his behalf, just as the band has on multiple occasions, while also encouraging their fans not to levy attacks against any accusers. In May, a fan alleged her drink was spiked at a Lithuanian pre-show party and that she was brought into a below-stage room during the show's intermission, where she encountered vocalist Till Lindemann. She says she told him that she wasn't interested in anything physical with him, at which point she says he left the room in anger. Since then, multiple women have made additional allegations leading to the criminal investigation in Berlin. And it's in Berlin where the band has three massive stadium shows next month on July 15th, 16th, and 18th at the famed Olympic Stadium. Mounting protests have called on promoters to cancel the performances and a petition has gathered more than 100,000 signatures. Now we've learned that Rammstein's band headquarters was vandalized earlier this week, also in Berlin with a message related to the allegations. Here's what we know. If you're new to Rockfeed, we post daily news and updates about your favorite rock bands. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates. Rammstein's band headquarters located in Berlin was apparently targeted in an act of vandalism where perpetrators broke windows on the facility and reportedly sprayed graffiti writing, no stage for perpetrators. A report from Euronews says that state security have since taken over the investigation because a political motivation could not be ruled out. Early information suggests that a left-wing extremist group has taken responsibility for the attack. All of this while investigators in Berlin have also opened a criminal investigation into vocalist Till Lindemann, though he's not been charged with any crime and he's denied the allegations against him. Next month, the band is scheduled to play three sold-out stadium shows at Berlin's Olympic Stadium on July 15th, 16th, and 18th, respectively. Reports say that around 100,000 people have signed a petition calling for the shows to be canceled. Now, show promoters called Gadget ABC are addressing the calls for the show's cancellation in a new statement. The company says it disassociates itself from any form of violence and abuse and takes the current allegations very seriously. It says that it raises very important questions. They added, The allegations levied against the band are serious. Gadget does not want to participate in prejudice. We have no knowledge of that band or a band member has been proven to have committed a criminal offense. Against this background, there is no legal basis for a concert cancellation with our contractual partner. A breach of contract would have consequences that would not be compatible with our sense of responsibility towards our employees, suppliers, and partners. Though promoters added that no guests would be allowed into the so-called row zero area in between the barricade and the stage. The band responded to the allegations in a statement earlier this month, writing in part, the accusations have hit us all very hard, and we take them extremely seriously. To our fans, we say, it's important to us that you feel comfortable and safe at our shows, in front of and behind the stage. We condemn any kind of assault and ask you, do not participate in prejudgments of any kind toward those who have made accusations. They have a right to their point of view, but we, the band, also have a right not to be prejudiced either. Rammstein continue to perform on their summer stadium tour, which is slated to wrap up later this summer in Belgium. That's your latest update for Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.